So the fear, you know, at first we're hearing these Chinese balloons, we're hearing these stories about these things, and and for decades we've heard that these things are benevolent, that if anything they want peace. If they're over, if they're over um, Maelstrom Air Force Base in Montana, that they don't want us using nuclear weapons, etc. Right? Anyone that follows these stories and knows the eyewitness accounts of the members of the military at Maelstrom Air Force Base, they were there and they were shutting off nuclear warheads that were not even connected right. to one another, right? With redundant right. systems. They were separately right. plugged in, basically, right? Shalom. I'm going to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great millstone who rule well. Peace and salutations unto the hopeful leg. This is Brother Yerushalam coming back at you with another video through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Raka Kodash. The name of this one is that the wind should not blow on the earth. All right, and I'm just continuing in um, this interview um, that Clayton Morris had with a um, former FBI agent, Mr. De Souza. All right, and um, first lesson I would have done on this topic would have been about. Project Blue Beam, you know, and that you know, the the Mr. Doc, Mr. Um, De Souza was basically saying that there wouldn't be no Project Blue, Blue Beam. It'll actually be chariots. He saw we actually using chariots. All right. Now in this video, I'm just gonna go through the points that you know that Clayton Morris and Mr. De Souza were making that you know the so-called UFOs, which we know, which we know are the chariots, are the most high chariots of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Yahweh Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, are, are basically, basically switch off. You know, all these nuclear weapons, these ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, right? As he was saying, you know, they switch off each one individually. All right. You know, and that and that's exactly we know the reason why that's happening. All right, because they say, you know, that these um these um missiles or the Salakia, these these UFOs. Which are really the angels on the most high. You know, they are bene benevolent. So that's the way it's pronounced. Well, let me, let's get a definition for that. I've been loaded up here. It says benevolent. Benevolent. Meaning well meaning and kindly. Kind, kindly, kind hearted, warm hearted. Um, let's go some more. Tolerable, good natured. Huh? They own, these, these angels only good natured to the elect. The elect of the nation of Israel. The only reason why. You know, as we soon as see here in the scriptures, you know, they have been shutting off those nuclear missiles. You know, it's because, you know, the elect not fully sealed as yet. Alright, if the elect was sealed, they would have allowed, allowed them to launch these missiles at each other a long time ago, since the sixties. When um during the Cold War where um so the USSR, United Soviet States of Russia were basically having a Cold War against the United States, Babylon the Great, which is Mystery Babylon, America. Alright, so let's play a little bit more of this thing here and then I'll get into some scriptures systems they were separately right. plugged in basically right it's not like pulling out a surge protector they were separately yeah. turned offline while this ufo was hovering above maelstrom air force base right. and this is confirmed by members of the air force like right. this is not me saying this this is the air force exactly. saying this so exactly. we've heard for decades that these are benevolent that this is not and now we're going to start to hear they're going to start to use this story with these man-made craft whether by Raytheon, whatever, to start yeah. start creating problems. You know? Again, that's the narrative of this devil. You know? And in the last lesson, I went through, you know, that they're going to be blaspheming the angels because they're going to pretend as if that those are the angels doing that, which is not, which wouldn't be true. All right? From what this guy says, anyway, you know, we got to wait and see what happens. But the evidence points into that. Oh, so that we think that these are some otherworldly beings, but they're really us doing it. And they're going to start shooting down aircraft now. That's crazy. And I, I've heard similar things. So I'm not, what you're saying comports with what I'm hearing separately. And yes. it's scary, but I want to know what's the end goal, right? When I sit here and I, I, I sit back with my cup of coffee and I think the end goal is, and this is to be that the alien visitors are involved with this. It's, they're not. They're not at all. And it's bullshit, uh, the angels don't look nothing like that. Uh, everything else is going to be real. The destruction that they bring to our city. Reagan was in office. Uh, we saw these uh, 
UFOs. They were they were UFOs that descended on a military, an American military base on British soil in Rendlesham Forest, and we saw them. A lot of them were filled with light. They were they were obviously in a transitional state of matter. They had the ability to appear and disappear, uh, and um, and they all now we're finding out they all went and shut down nuclear missiles that were apparently at Rendlesham. Uh, and that has been something that we've seen throughout history. And the, one of the reasons that they do that is because they know that there's something is going to happen with those nuclear missiles at that moment that nobody else knows. Uh, and that's one of the reasons that they come and they deactivate these, uh, these nuclear missiles that are being readied for use in some capacity at that time. And there's been a long history of that uh, throughout um, even before 1980 and even beyond uh, at that time. So this is since the 60s. It's been going on, and that shows uh, benevolence, uh, benevolent intent from real, actual UFOs that are possibly extraterrestrial. That is the reason. Real, actual angels. All right, now let's get to them some scriptures here. And this is the reason why the angels have been doing that, been, been showing benevolence, as he said. But his benevolence is only to elect. This is Revelation 7 and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels. And four goes into what? Mercy. The Lord is showing mercy to what? Who? His elect. All right? And his elect is only, are only Israelites. According to Isaiah 45. All right? And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, pulling the four winds of the earth. You now, what? Let's see what the winds, that word wind, goes into. All right? Not a normal breeze like you know, East Trade winds and so on and so forth. We're talking about a destructive force. Strong's G417. Animas. Animas. Right, a wild, a wind, violent agitation, a stream of air, a very strong, tempestuous wind. Four principles of, ca of, of cardinal wind. No, it's not talking about, it's talking about a, a heavy, a nuclear wind. Right? Um, that be some of destruction. You know, the. Um, the Apostle Gabba always goes in on that. Isaiah chapter 14. In fact, let me type it up here. I'll be some. See if I can find it. Alright. Isaiah 14 and 23. I will also make it a possession for the Britain. You know what, what the Lord going to make a possession for the Britain? Babylon the Great, America. Right? For Britain and pools of water. And I will sweep it with a be some of destruction. Right? That sweeping action of the wind. Alright, sweeping over the land and destroying it. Alright, uh, let's see if I can find that. It'd be some. Strong's H4292. Matt Ate. Matt Ate. As a broom to dust, to remove, and it does something, you sweep it, you sweep it, you sweep it away with what? A breeze, a strong breeze. And that's how Babylon the Great is going to be swept away. Alright, so it's a strong breeze. Another. Um, Illustration could be here. Let's see if I can get this. Here we go. sweeping action right there that's what they're speaking about So when the blast hits, you know, and there's the mushroom cloud that goes up to the heavens, you know, there's a there's a sweeping action. You see that circle, sweeping action after it's going across the land? That's that's what this reach for into. Those are the winds. All 
right? So you get the, you get the idea, okay? UFOs that are possibly. So that's what they're speaking about right now. Let's go back to Revelation chapter seven, right? And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, right? The winds, the ICBM nuclear missile destruction, right? Holding the four winds of the earth that the wind should not blow on the earth nor on the sea, the peoples of the earth, nor on any tree. Why? Because Israel scattered to all peoples, you know, to every, you know, which is, which is seas like and unto peoples. Right? Israel scattered to all the four corners of the earth. Hosea 8 and 8, um, Deuteronomy 28 and 64. Right? And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. Right? And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees which which he sees and the trees are like unto peoples right it's a metaphoric language till we have sealed the servants of our power in their foreheads with white with what 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 they've been sealed with the wisdom the knowledge and the understanding of this truth okay this is what they're speaking about you know let's bring a couple of precepts just to just to illustrate at matthew 24 verse 14 it says and this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations and then the end will come so after this after all the elect are sealed with this knowledge and wisdom of this truth you know you know which is which is really the the, the um the thawa the mark of exemption that we read about in ezekiel 9th chapter and the fourth verse all right let me go there quickly ezekiel book of ezekiel chapter 9 and verse 4 says and the lord said unto him go through the midst of the city through the midst of jerusalem and set a mark right that mark is the tawa knowledge and understanding is truth upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry so it's not talking about a physical mark it's a spiritual mark this knowledge and this understanding this is the oil right that we read about in matthew 25th chapter all right so it says and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Alright? And when we read on, it goes into the judgment, which which, which ultimately, you know, culminates in the seventh um seventh plague, which is the ICBM nuclear missile destruction. When the angels go into the midst of the city and smite, and smite means to kill. Alright? You know, and these missiles are gonna be guided by the Holy by the Holy Spirit, the angels. Okay? Now let's get a couple other precepts here. Let's get the book of Ephesians. Book of Ephesians, chapter 1, verse 13. Let's see what this mark is all about. Ephesians 1 and 13, just for those who, who may be new. It says, it reads, In whom ye also trusted. In fact, let me read um, verse 12, Ephesians 1 and 12. That we should be to the praise of, of his glory, who first trusted in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. In whom ye also trusted after that ye heard the word of the truth the gospel of your salvation in whom also after that ye believed you were sealed right as you sealing with that holy spirit of promise which is the down payment for salvation all right when you continue to read on all right and that's what's happening in this truth when the men of the lord when we do these videos and, and preach this wood on the highways and the hedges all right isaiah from the elder apostles on down isaiah 44 verse 3 says for i will pour water upon him that is thirsty right who, who, who's him that is thirsty the men of the lord and floods upon the dry ground right this word gonna go out like that i will pour my spirit upon thy seed the seed of the elect of israel and my blessing upon thine offspring and they shall spring up as among the grass as willows by the water course and this how the street spreading so the different camps especially those with the correct doctrine starting with gms the great millstone and those other camps that preach likewise doctrine even though they're not called by by the name gms all right i preach the hundred percent true they're springing up and the elect being sealed and we're very close to the end we've seen that now all right it's evident by what's going on with russia and ukraine and nato okay but this is the reason why the angels been doing that you know been you know taking out these missiles and shutting them down because the elect haven't been sealed yet now let's go back into it ufos that are possibly extraterrestrial that is the reason why this operation had to divorce themselves from the label ufos and they had to create this new thing mm. uh uaps and the ultimate goal again as i said is 
fake alien invasion, which will not be pretty holograms as... We went through that already. Right. Uh, and no, that's not what it's going to be. It's going to be these very physical... So they're going to try to blaspheme, you know, the, the angels of the Lord. They're going to try to um, incriminate the angels of the Lord as if they're doing mischief, which they're not. Right? The angels of the Lord is going to show you that destruction. All right? That's when they're going to bring that destruction. But concerning the um, concerning these missiles, let's go into a few precepts and bring that out. Let's get Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 51. I'll try to be brief. Verse 1 says, Thus saith Yahweh power. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind, right? That destroying wind, we saw that, right? And I will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her, right? They're going to fan and blow her with that power, that nuclear power, and shall empty her land. For the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about, against him that bendeth the arch, the voice him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow, right? The missiles like none to arrows. And against him that lift up himself in the spigadine, his armor and spear, right? And a spear, ye not her young men, destroy you utterly all who host. Thus the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are trust true in the streets. Right, this is what's going to happen to you. I'm jumping to verse 11. It says, Make bright the arrows, which are the missiles, gather the shields. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had raised up the spirit of the king of the Medes, which is what? Russia. For his device is against Babylon to destroy it, because it is the vengeance of the Lord Yahweh Yahushai, the vengeance of his temple. Set up the standard upon the walls of Babylon while we do not right now. Make make the watch strong, set up the watchmen, prepare the ambushes, we do not through the wood. For Yahweh Bashim Yahushai both devised and done that which he spake against the inhabitants of Babylon, and setting up all these nations against her. O thou that dwellest upon many waters, abundant in treasures, in America, as the embassies all over the world, they dwell in many waters. Thine end is come, and the measure of thy covetousness. Yahweh Bashim Yahushai of hosts had sworn by himself, saying, Surely I will fill thee with men as with caterpillars, and they shall lift up a shout against thee. And we do not, you know, we, you know, we, are, the, we are enemies against this system and the devil system, Babylon the Great. Now let's go to Jeremiah 50 and verse 9. And all these other um, nations, Lord, building up against America. Jeremiah 50 and 9, For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations, right? Bricks. We've seen it live, man. We get it blow for blow. The prophecy is fulfilling, right? From the north country, and, and they shall set themselves in array against her. Japan now, you know, separating themselves from America, all right? The arrow shall be as the mighty expert man. None shall return in vain, and Chaldea shall be a spoiled, all their spoilers shall be satisfied, say at Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. These nations are going to be glad to destroy in America. Alright? And, and the Lord is the one who created these missiles here that you know that they that the angel. That's why the angels could shut them down like that. The Lord is the one who will create who created these missiles as we get in Isaiah 54 and verse 16. It says what? Behold, I have created the smith, which is the scientist, that blew out the coals in the fire, and that bring it forth an instrument for his work with splitting the atom. Right, the Lord allowed them and give them the knowledge to do it and to create these missiles. Right? Um, and they bring forth an instrument for whose work, work of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. They are his missiles. Right? And I've created a waster to destroy, right? That weapon. Okay? The Lord did that. That's why the angels could control it. But the angels do everything that the Heavenly Father said to do. Alright, Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 24. These devils just proud. Jeremiah 50 and 24 says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also taken, O Babylon, and thou wast not aware, thou art found, and also caught, because thou hast striven against Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in the wicked ways. The indign you know, they, they, they've really um, worked for the indignation of the Lord through their nasty policies, the filthy policies. Alright? Starting start with the, um, the, 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 the promotion of adultery, wicked lifestyles. Like rainbowism, all these things. Right? Verse 25 says, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai had opened his armory and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation. Right? The major weapon is his missiles, ICBM missiles. For this is the work of Yahweh, power of hosts in the land of the Chaldeans. Alright? Come against her from the utmost border, open her storehouses, cast her up in heaps, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. 
slay all her bullocks, let them go down to the slaughter, and woe unto them, for the, death, for the day is come, and the time of their visitation. The voice of them that flee and escape out of the land of Babylon, to declare in Zion the vengeance of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, our power. Right, the vengeance of his temple. Right? And we escaping spiritually. Call together the archers of, against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about, right? All these archers, different nations who have the missiles. Right now they're beating their, their plowshares into swords, all the resources they put into making missiles right now as we speak. Right? It says call together the archers against Babylon, all ye that bend the bow. Camp against it round about. Let none thereof escape. Recompense her according to her work, according to all that she had done on do unto her, for she had been proud against Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, against the Holy One of Israel. And this is why she's gonna be destroyed for her pride. She's gonna be wiped out. You know? She's gonna be completely wiped out. And when all the elect is eventually sealed, right, with this wood, you know, the Lord gonna gonna let them let the angels allow them to launch those missiles. But the angels know all the even thing. Remember the scripture says the the eyes of the Lord are 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Where the eyes of the Lord, the angels. They go to and fro on the earth. Knowing the plans that you saw Edom in the round tables, Micah 2 and 1. Alright? And when they, what they plan to do, they launch missiles and do all those things. So that's why they come and shut it down. This is Revelation 9 and 15. And the four angels will loose, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. The third part of men, the, the sons of the wicked, you saw Edom. Alright? And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand and I heard the number of them so it's all these missiles gonna hit okay well, let's get one more precept and close it out let's get second Ezra chapter 16 verse 7 it reads may one turn again the arrow that is shot of a strong archer no you can't the missiles not gonna be turned back the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues and who is he that can drive them away a fire shall go forth from his wrath and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder, and who shall not be afraid? The Lord will shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder at his presence? Alright, verse 13, jumping to verse 13, it says, For strong is his right hand that bendeth the bow. Right? You know, as the Lord is the one allowing this to happen through the angels. The angels have full control of those ICBM nuclear missiles. Alright? His arrows that he shoot at with sharp. His arrows that he shoot at are sharp and shall not miss when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. Alright? Behold, the plagues are sent and shall not return until they come upon the earth. The fire is kindled and shall not be put out till it consume the foundation of the earth. Like as an arrow which is shot of a mighty archer, returneth not backward, even so the plague shall be sent upon the earth and shall not return again. So when those missiles shot, it's not going to be any stopping them. Every one of them is going to hit the mark. Thus saith the Lord and Babylon and Israel and other places around the world are going to be destroyed. So with that, pray this lesson was edifying. You know, hold fast, push this wood. You know, the harvest is great, but the, but the, you know, but the laborers are few. Pray this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of the great mills who rule well. Peace and salutations on the youthful elect. The next time, Shalom and a bad boy.